fraction. A number that names equal parts of a whole number or parts of a set. You need to understand that fractions are really just division problems. Division problems are represented with a numerator over a denominator. And so we consider this parts of a whole. And we say that this is 1 divided by 3. So it's really important to understand the context of a word problem. So let's take a look at an example. Henry and John are sharing three brownies. Equally. How much does each person get? So we have to think about, in this case, that the denominator may actually be the smaller number. Okay? So if we have three total brownies, and I'm going to have to divide that three brownies by two people. Then each person gets three halves of a brownie. But what does this look like? So it may be helpful to draw a visual. If I have three brownies, and two people, so I know that Henry can get one whole one, and John can get one whole one, and that means I'm going to have to split up this third one. If I split that in half, then Henry can get that half, and John can get that half, and so now I can total what three divided by two actually means. It means that Henry will get one whole, and a half. Same with John. John gets one whole and a half. And are those equally uh, separated, equally divided for both of those uh, students? Yeah. Yes. We also understand that one and one half is in between one and two as whole numbers. You have to understand how big fractions are.